Can someone please explain to me how it is already February? I don't understand. I feel like that happened so quickly. Like we're already a month into 2023. January was just a really good month for me, to be honest with you. Nothing insane, crazy, like wild happened. I just feel like I did what I said I was gonna do. I implemented good balance and all of that stuff feels good. Also, hi, welcome if you're new. <laughs> I'm just like hot out of the gate today. I'm Shayla. Subscribe if you're new. Welcome back if you're not new. And happy February to all. I'm just drinking the rest of my green smoothie that I made a little bit ago. I wasn't planning on starting the vlog today. I was gonna start the vlog tomorrow. But then I was like, well, I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I'm gonna pick some stuff up to make my kale detox salad. And I feel like I get a lot of questions about how I'm currently making it because I mentioned in a couple of vlogs ago that I made some unintentional tweaks to it that I'm really vibing with. So I thought I would show you that I want to meal prep a few things and so yeah we're just gonna start the vlog today why not whatever also by the way woke up this morning looked out the window and to my surprise there was snow outside oh my goodness guys I think it snowed last night oh yeah it definitely snowed okay you want to go outside and see it hasn't really snowed yet here in New York City like we had flurries one day but no snow and it's funny because I was just chatting with one of my neighbors last night about how there hasn't really been any snow and <laughs> Just like yeah i'm kind of excited for it and want to experience it you know because i grew up in california more specifically south orange county and los angeles and it just like doesn't snow there so like i'm very excited for the seasons and it's been unusually on the warm side here in new york city so it was kind of fun to see that although it's done and gone now it was very brief little bit of snow outside but it was still really fun to wake up to yeah anyway that's the news very exciting stuff happening over here in my life, if you couldn't tell. Actually, speaking of exciting, I mentioned in a few vlogs ago that I felt really inspired to create more short form video, like on Instagram Reels and TikTok, since after Vlogmas, I just got in the vibe of like vlogging and filming more. And I've just honestly been having fun with it and creating whatever I feel like and talking about whatever I feel like. And one of my Reels is at like well over a million views, which is insane. And then another one is up over, I think close to like 600,000 views, which, I don't know, that's just crazy to me. I've had certain TikToks hit pretty high up. One hit like 4 million views, but that's been a while since that's happened. Not that I've been really putting effort into it, but which is kind of fun because I started creating short form video, not with the purpose of like going viral, just to have fun and be creative. It's very exciting for it to be seen by so many people. So that's been fun. But anyway, enough chit chat. It is like 1.30 right now and I want to go to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. I also have like the worst cramps ever today, which is not my favorite thing, but we're gonna push through it. We're gonna have a great day, get some stuff done and we're gonna hang out for a couple of days. I actually have quite a few podcast episodes that I wanna record, which would have allowed me to just stay in my pajamas all day today and do nothing and like, be a slob, which is truly what I wanted to do because I have such bad cramps. And even though having those days are necessary, I think, I just felt like today's not one of those days. I'm on a roll, it's the first day of the month. I don't want to be a couch potato today. I wanna to try to get myself feeling good. So let's go grocery shopping, because I need some food, I'm hungry. Whole Foods is done, now we gotta stop by Dwayne Reed and Trader Joe's get my workout in today. <laughs> All done, I cannot carry anything else. My bags are so freaking heavy. <laughs> Time to go home. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so heavy. Now I'm not gonna lie, I've already broken into the rice cracker medley from Trader Joe's, it's my favorite snack. <laughs> That was meant to be a fast, quick, easy shop. I don't know what happened. I got a bunch of heavy stuff. And I also decided while I was out that I wanted to meal prep a batch of my chili too, because it's just so good. So I got stuff to make my vegan chili, which I will show you when we make that. And I also got stuff to make my kale salad, which I will show you when we make that. The rest of the stuff that I got, I got celery to make celery juice. Um, these you don't need to see. Also got the girls their favorite dog treats from Trader Joe's. These are the peanut butter and banana grain-free treats. Saw these, have no idea if they're good or not, but I'm very, very curious. So got a pack of these. They're essentially like squiggly knife cut style noodles with soy and sesame sauce. I also got some cellophane noodles. These are obviously from Whole Foods. I'm addicted. They're so good. 
chili roasted pistachios. What else did I get? Bananas, some more cinnamon for my coffee. And I got some more Epsom salt because I ran out quite a while ago. Oh, I got some apples too, my bad. Okay, let me get everything out for the chili first. We'll do that really quickly. Although, you know what? I did just recently show how I make that. So I'm probably not gonna give a in-depth tutorial on that. Oh my gosh, you know what I almost just did? I almost just kept a big secret. <laughs> Not that big of a secret. I also got Frosted Flakes from Whole Foods. Sometimes I like a bowl of cereal in the evening as a dessert. Could be my PMS that drove me to purchase this or just a sheer craving. Either way, we give in to cravings here in a mindful way. And this just sounded really good. Like I could see this with like some sliced banana in it for dessert tonight. Okay, let me do the chili quickly and then we'll do the salad together because you don't need to see the chili. Just showed you the chili recently. Not necessary. We're gonna make something fun for dinner tonight too, but that's, that's later. The secret ingredient. Admittedly, it is not my secret ingredient. It is my mom's secret ingredient, but we keep my mom's traditions going strong over here. is on simmer let's talk kale detox salad first and foremost i use a huge bag of chopped and washed kale garlic girl olive oil this is very important you'll find out why in a moment i do a big can of garbanzo beans and veggies and i'll show you all that in a minute the first step is i like to pluck out all of these stems it's time consuming do i love doing it no but i like to do it because it makes the salad better makes the whole eating experience more enjoyable. And really it's not the worst thing in the world, okay? But I just do like a section of lettuce at a time and I pluck out all of the stems. I am gonna use the entire bag of lettuce just because once we do this next step, it will kind of like squish down. But because my bowl is also pretty small, I'm gonna use an additional bowl and prep one serving size basically and then we'll like add to that big one you'll see what i mean anyway this is the most important step you have to massage your kale you have to massage it otherwise the kale is like not fun to eat i like using this garlic girl olive oil i get it at whole foods you can also get it on amazon i use a very small amount directly on the kale and you quite literally massage the olive oil into the kale. You might find some more little stems. If you do, pluck them out. But you wanna really massage the kale down so that it softens up the kale. This is what makes it yummy to eat. Otherwise, it's just hard and kind of dry. I'm gonna kind of transfer over a good amount of this into this other bowl so that I have that ready for tomorrow. And then this big batch will be for the rest of the week. I'm gonna go through and massage the rest of this kale and get all of the stems out and then I'll show you the next step. Like, what is that? That should not even be in there. That's like a weapon. Once your kale is all massaged and all of the stems are out, I'm gonna prep our chickpeas. I like to use these chickpeas. I like to get a big can of them. This is like a 29 ounce can because I like a lot of chickpeas. We're gonna drain them, rinse them, and air fry them. Mm, I hate this can opener. <laughs> Got my air fryer warming up, and in the meantime, I'm gonna put a paper towel in a bowl and then pour my drained and rinsed chickpeas on top. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just wanna get some of this water out. And then I douse them in Bragg's liquid aminos. Garlic powder. And cayenne. And then I line my air fryer with foil and I just toss them all in there. And I roast them at 380 degrees for about 15 minutes. To be honest with you, mine usually take a little longer than 15 minutes, but I like to start there. And then I just pop them back in the air fryer if I need to. They're not necessarily crispy. They're just browned on the outside and they have that flavor to them, so. That's how I do the chickpeas. And then I just toss whatever veggies I want into the salad. I pretty much always do cucumber, bell pepper, radish, and tomato. 
once the chickpeas are done, we'll top those onto the salad. And then I don't know that I'm gonna have salad for dinner today, because I think I wanna make something else that'll be fun. So I will show you the rest of it tomorrow. Like once I put it all together. But in the meantime, when I am ready to actually eat the salad, I always top it with sesame seeds, red chili pepper flakes. And then the new bit that I've been doing is I've been adding on these seaweed flakes and using this dressing. I talked about this dressing in my last vlog. It reminds me a little of maybe like an Asian inspired flavor, I would say, because this is a Japanese style dressing. And then we have the sesame seeds and the seaweed. I just love the flavor. I do like my OG dressing that I make with Dijon mustard and maple syrup and lemon juice, which is up on my blog. But lately this has just really been hitting the spot. I'm not gonna lie. But I will show you like the construction of it or whatever tomorrow when I have it for lunch. But yeah, that's my updated kale detox salad. I was just thinking that every time I buy myself roses, which I try to get myself fresh flowers every week slash whenever the current batch is done that I try to replenish because they just make me really happy. I love peonies, but I also really, really love roses because my grandmother, who is no longer with us, sadly, she passed away when I was, gosh, really young. I've lived most of my life without her, but she had the most beautiful rose garden and loved roses and grew the most amazing roses. And every time I get roses, I think about her. Just wanted to, I don't know, mention that just in case any of you are experiencing loss or have experienced loss. And even though that loss for me happened so many years ago, I think it's still nice to honor her and think about her. And there's so many little ways we can honor the people in our lives that that we love and care about that can just be for us you know obviously i'm sharing this with you but this is something that i just like do for myself and i just think about her and i send her love and i kind of honor her through this and this really small gesture that's also a gesture for myself you know because roses make me feel good and they make me happy but yeah i don't know <laughs> i don't know why i'm sharing this with you but just thought maybe that could help somebody kind of going through loss or if you miss someone or someone's no longer in your life you can still send them love and honor them i feel like when i have roses in my house i have a little piece of my late grandmother in my house my grandparents had my mom when they were on the older side so they were quite a bit older when i was younger so sadly i didn't like get to have them in my adult life but sometimes i wonder like what would she think about her world today and like what i do and you know why i'm getting emotional right now just thinking about her oh hormones guys also it's okay to just cry but i am pmsing and i just always get so emotional around my period about things that i normally like think about and feel deeply about but i'm not like getting super emotional over it but you know what it's good to feel your feels of course as soon as i'm finished with my sentimental chat to you the air fryer turns off anyway just giving you a little peek some of them are like semi crispy but oh of course that one's pretty crispy <laughs> but a lot of them are not so i'm just gonna kind of like toss it around a little bit and then i'll pop them back in for like 10 minutes and check on them again i can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost we stand on the opposite shore Hello, Mona. I reach through mysterious All right, chickpeas are done My home. I look for the things I Hi, don't baby. know Hey guys You know what time it is. It is time for self-care. Take a little bath. And we're doing a bubble bath. 
If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, then you can probably tell that I'm in my date yourself era. I'm still open to dating other people, but I'm also dating myself. And what I mean by that is I'm doing little things to romanticize my life, wearing cute little matching sets, making myself feel good, buying myself flowers, doing all the self care, and just treating myself like I would want a partner to treat me. That's what we should be doing anyways, treating ourselves and treating other people, but you know, teaching other people how to treat us and setting our standards by way of how we treat ourselves. So, got my cute little nighty on that I got on Revolve, which is linked on my Revolve favorites page, which is always linked below. And got my little kombucha, my wine glass. It's been my evening tradition. I'm telling you, non-alcoholic drinks in wine glasses just taste better. I don't know what it is did my self care, took my bath, and now we're gonna make a little homemade vegan pizza. I love pizza and I usually have pizza fairly frequently, but I have not had pizza in like, has it been like two or three months? It's been a really long time and I've just been craving it and I used to make pizza at home all the time and I haven't done that since I moved to New York City. And so I got some vegan pizza dough from Trader Joe's. I like the garlic and herb one and it's super easy to use. I'm not gonna walk you through it step by step because it literally has the directions on the back. We've got our Trader Joe's pizza dough, organic pizza sauce from Whole Foods. And I saved some veggies from when I made the chili earlier. So just some green bell pepper and zucchini. I also have some yellow squash I might slice up and put on fresh basil, maybe a little onion, mushrooms, olives, spinach. Just gonna put a little bit of this vegan cheese, the classic chive from Mykonos. This is more so cheese that I eat with crackers, but I think a little bit of this on there would be really yummy. And I'm also doing some jalapenos because I like spicy. I see. I'm gonna put on a little podcast and get cooking. Cooking like this is so therapeutic for me. Also, sorry, I feel like all this vlog has been so far has been cooking. But that's just what today is. I did work this morning and I didn't go to the gym because today's my rest day, but yeah, lots of cooking. Hope you're okay with that. And the chili, we're gonna put in containers later. so good. Oh my gosh. Time for coffee and I get some work done. This girl gets up with me in the mornings and gets a little secret treat. <laughs> Every morning, Bali gets up, but Penny stays in bed and Bali gets a treat. Go <laughs> circle. making coffee and I'm gonna get a little bit of work done and then we're going to Rise Nation. We gotta leave at 7.20. So I have two hours to work and take the dogs out. If you know, you know. Water first, always. And of course, coffee. Okay, I'm gonna get some work done and then I'll chat to you after. I gotta focus right now. Time to get ready to go work out. We are cutting it very close right now because I decided to do one too many things this morning. Oh, we gotta rush to the subway so we can get to class on time. face gym because I've been dying to try it. Just finished 
and that was so great. My face feels amazing. I put my headphones on, figure out where I'm going. <laughs> Absolutely obsessed, love that. Did not realize how much tension I'm holding in my jaw, so that was much needed. Now starving, banana did not do much for me. So let's go home and go have lunch. Just took a shower and have a bunch of work that I have to get done like right, right now. We have an event later on today, so I'm kind of on a time crunch. So I'm literally just popping on the vlog right now to finish showing you how I am currently eating my kale detox salad. So I showed you how I put it all together yesterday. Again, I'm using this salad dressing. I'm also adding some of these seaweed flakes. I really like these seaweed flakes, so I go a little ham. I'm also gonna do a half of an avocado. crushed red pepper, sesame seeds, and a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I kind of just toss it all together. And voila, that is my current kale detox salad situation. Uh, my hair is crazy, so please excuse. I had to wash it because after that face gym appointment, there was like oil and stuff that like got in my hairline, which is fine because I was already sweaty from Rise Nation anyway. But yeah, just had to wash my hair and I'm gonna put my little heatless hair curl thing in now because it's almost dry. It's like still slightly damp. So I'm going to put that in since I'm basically just doing admin type work today. Anyway, taking a little break from work. I just took the dogs out on like a really nice long walk. It is so nice and sunny out right now. It's not necessarily warm, but it was warm enough for me to take a nice 30 minute walk outside. And I like called my friends, Laura and Annie who live in LA. And I also called my mom and caught up with her, which was so nice. And I also picked up some packages downstairs and I thought we would unbox them together. As you saw, I woke up very early this morning and started working and I still have more to do because I just reopened the Yoga and Spread Life program. I think I mentioned that in one or two vlogs ago. So there's just like a lot of back end admin work that I have to do to get that ready. And I'm also corresponding with people about the program and reading applications and all that kind of stuff. So it's just a lot of computer work, which is fine. But in order to break up the day, since I did start at like 6 a.m. this morning, <laughs> I have to take breaks and like get my body moving. Otherwise I start to feel kind of antsy in my skin and in my body, like my energy feels like so I'm glad I took time this morning to work out, do a little self-care after working and then worked again. And now we're taking another little break. Place to Sephora order. First and foremost, I wanted to get a couple of makeup brushes because I've had my makeup brushes for so long and I love all the makeup brushes that I have, but I feel like I use some of them for multiple things. And yeah, I just thought I would get a couple more. I got the 64 Pro Foundation Brush just to kind of blend in my tinted moisturizer a little bit better rather than using just my hands or a beauty blender. Apparently this one is really good for that. Also got this powder brush just to use with my setting powder. This one's like a nice big fluffy brush. And then I also got this little concealer brush just to kind of blend in my concealer, obviously. All Sephora brand and I'll link everything below. I was also thinking this could be good to blend in like nose contour. I don't know. Also, I got a new beauty blender. I got a nude one. Then I got a couple of NARS creamy concealers. I got a couple different colors just because I'm not totally sure. I'm gonna try the one that I think I am or the one that I used to use, which is custard. And then if not, I got another color just in case. And then I got a darker shade to possibly use as contour. I've been seeing this a lot on TikTok. I also got a lip oil from Dior. I've been seeing this on TikTok as well. Let's try it right now. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. I can confirm, I love this. I got the shade pink. I also got a couple of eyeshadows, although these look exactly the same. Apparently they're different. They look exactly the same. I got two eyeshadow colors because I have that Tarte palette that I absolutely love, but I've used the nude shimmery color up completely. Like there's nothing left. And I was gonna just buy the palette again, but then I thought, well, you know, maybe I should try to find a similar color that's like sold separately so that I don't like waste the entire rest of the palette. I do use the other colors in the palette, but I use that one nude shimmery one a lot. So we'll try one of these and see. And then the last thing I got from Sephora is this cleansing balm from Pharmacy Beauty. Been using the Elemis cleansing balm, which I like. 
but I'm not like married to. They also saw some comments that there's fragrance in it and that it can irritate your skin. I don't know because I double cleanse after I use it. So I don't think I've had any issues with it, but since I am running low on it, I thought that I would try this one. That's my little Sephora haul. I also placed an Osea order. I got another body butter. I just love this stuff. It's basically the same Oh, it smells so good as the body oil that I'm obsessed with, but this is just in like a really rich body butter. And then I also got some body scrub. That's my little beauty haul. I'm going to do my little heatless hair hack and then finish up work and then we'll get ready for a fun little influencer event in a little bit. Three hours later. Now listen, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I did put the chili on the stove on low. I've been warming up the chili, thinking I'm gonna have chili for dinner, and I still might, but it's 4.30, and I need to get ready for this event in like 30 minutes, but I still have work to do, but I'm also tired. So I feel like the best thing for me to do right now is have a little bowl of Frosted Flakes, because I need a little sugar, and I need a little energy, and I need a little something crunchy, you know? I need a little sweet treat. <laughs> to like rally and muster up some energy right now because I am tired. I still have a little bit of time before I have to go, but I want to make sure I know what I'm wearing so that I don't wait till the last minute and then feel like I don't like what I'm wearing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kind of thinking possibly this sweater dress with some black boots could be cute. I do really want to wear this too, but I don't know. I am so glad that I tried on the outfit that I had in my head earlier than I was originally planning to because it just didn't quite fit right, sadly. I still like really love that dress. I think it just needs to be taken up a little bit and I think I could probably do it myself or have it done. But yeah, just like wasn't quite fitting me correctly and I like couldn't figure it out. So I'm just gonna wear my go-to faux leather pants with my fleece line leggings underneath. And this really cute like poofy sleeve off the shoulder top. I'm just gonna wear my little black ankle boots that I always love wearing. And I am gonna take this out of my hair, don't worry. <laughs> so yeah, that's the fit. Could you imagine if I wore this to the event? <laughs> Anyway, I do need to leave in like 30-ish minutes. I'm just gonna have a little bit of chili, which honestly will probably make me quite bloated as an abundance of beans does to me and I'm assuming lots of other people. But um, this is just what's gonna have to happen. I'll survive. I feel like this vlog has been very food heavy. Not intentional at all, but here we are. I'm gonna have to get a move on here quickly, but I forgot to tell you that the event is for Vegamore, which is so funny because I will not really that funny and I'll explain why. But I just recently started using Vegamore because I bought it. I bought the shampoo and conditioner, which I've, I feel like I've talked about like a couple of times. And I also bought the hair growth serum. And I guess because I posted and tagged them, they must have found me and they invited me to an event tonight to celebrate the launch of, I believe like a new line or a new product. We'll see when we get there. But I feel like this is a good opportunity to talk about how I get invited to influencer events because I've noticed that I've gotten that question a lot. And the short answer is I have no idea. I never signed up for a list. I'm not like on a website to be invited. There's nothing that I specifically did to get on influencer. Whoops. <sighs> my alarm to get ready to go. There's nothing that I did to get on a list to be invited or anything like that. What I will say is that I have been a content creator for it'll be seven years this March. That's a long time, right? So I've worked with a lot of brands. I've gone to a lot of influencer events when I lived in LA. And so I'm sure these PR companies have my information. The other thing I'll say is that the best way to connect with a brand that you really love is to genuinely love the product and share it and create content with it and tag them and do that consistently. Like that's always been my MO for brand partnerships and even influencer events like Osea, for instance. I work with them now, but for a really long time, I was a customer and fan of their product and I would share their products all the time. I still buy their product, you know, but they saw that I was authentically using their brand, loving their brand, sharing their brand, and brands wanna work slash connect with people who love and appreciate and share their product, you know? So my best advice, if you are new to the influencer space or you're wanting to go to more influencer, oops, sorry, more influencer events, create content, 
Create content and show up. I know that that's like nobody's favorite answer because people wanna know like, what website do I go to and what's the quick, quick, quick answer, but I don't have a quick answer for you. And I'm sorry, maybe other people do, I, I have no idea. But for myself personally, that's what I think it is, is that I buy and use a product, I talk about it because even though that's my job, it started out as a hobby because I like to share things. I still do that and brands will discover me through that and then this. <laughs> and then I have, you know, my contact information on all of my social media platforms and then I get an email in my inbox of either a brand wanting to work with me or a brand inviting me to an influencer event and I think it just grows and builds over time and you just have to create content around the products and brands that you know and love using. And the other thing too is like once you start going to one or two events, then a lot of the PR companies work with multiple brands. And so then they'll invite you to other influencer events, you know, and then maybe you'll meet other influencers at these events. And then maybe they'll message you because they'll have a plus one and they'll say, hey, do you wanna come to this event with me? And then you just kind of like get into the mix, but it's very much in my opinion, a long game versus go to this website, enter your email and there you go, if that makes sense. Hopefully that's helpful. That's just how I do it. And honestly, I say no a lot more than I say yes for brand partnerships, sponsorships, and events. I get tons and tons and tons of emails every single day. And I say no a lot because I only wanna work with brands that I really know, love, or try and really, really love and believe in. And I only wanna go to events for the same reasons. Like I'm not just trying to get a bunch of free PR. I don't wanna work with a bunch of brands for just a quick paycheck because that's just, I don't like that. I don't know, just doesn't feel right. So anyway, time to go. I love ya. Gotta get my boots on, to brush my teeth. <laughs> it's chilly, man. It's so good though, but it is a little garlicky. I wish I could bring you with me, you sweet girl. I know you, you know I'm going, don't you? But I've been home all day. You see hi to your friends? Really wanted to do more color this evening, but this is what we're working with. Vegamore has been kind enough to send us an Uber code, which is so nice, so I don't have to take the subway. Although I kind of like taking the subway, but in the evenings, it is nice to just take an Uber. So it's actually at the Four Seasons Hotel in downtown, which is kind of cool. Okay, let's go. actually such a cool event. They had synchronized swimmers, the founder of Vegamore was there, I met a nice new friend, and they sent us home with their new line, the Hydrate line. And after hearing the founder speak, and they also had a Harvard graduate dermatologist who was just brilliant, and she spoke on all the amazing aspects of this brand, and it just like made me so much more excited. I think it's so funny. They had no idea that I bought Vegamore like a month ago or something, so that's so funny, and such a beautiful, divine coincidence. I feel like these things happen to me all the time, so very excited to use this new line. So got a gorgeous little hair mask. Very much enjoyed that. I am so tired though, so I'm going to walk the doggies one last time, get my jammies, read my book, and end this vlog here but thank you for hanging out with me i love you subscribe if you're new and i will see you in my next video